See this? That's the light. You're not supposed to see that. But there it is. You know my secrets now. I like my videos. There's a million YouTube tutorials on how to wing your eyeliner. So rather than give you all of the generic ways to do it, I'm going to show you the more creative ways to wing your eyeliner. Method number one. Just go for it. Get psyched. Get yourself pumped. This is the true definition of winging your eyeliner. You just gotta get mentally prepared and hope for the best. <sighs> okay. Okay. We can work with this. Now, when you go for it, it's not foolproof. And you don't always get a straight line. So sometimes, you just need a little help to get it straight. So, second method is, you find a ruler. You might have to improvise a little. I couldn't find a ruler, but I did find this. This one's really easy. You just wanna lay down the tape measure or ruler extending off of your lower lash line, and then just draw a straight line. You go back over the line a couple times to make sure you got it. Then just repeat this on the top of the eyelid, connecting the two lines at the tail. Boom! It's not perfect. You know, it's straight. It's not... They're not, it's fine. So never forget this is an option. You can try this method. The harder you pull it, the straighter your line's gonna be. And then you just, you just go for it. It's doing something, you see? working. You got that perfect little swoop now. If putting down eyeliner just isn't your thing, then maybe taking it off will be. Start by covering your entire eyelid with black gel liner. Doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Okay, handy dandy makeup wipe. It's a lot like carving out your brow. Except not really at all. Think negative space and use a makeup wipe to leave the shape that you want. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. 60% of the time, it works every time. Don't let yourself be intimidated by this one because it works great. It's also a really great way to wake up in the morning. Simply draw your cat eye on the sticky side of duct tape. We're gonna transfer that shit like a temporary tattoo. And you're just gonna slay it down. Make sure you got it in there real good. Try to avoid your eyebrows if you'd like to keep them. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, just recruit your boyfriend. He can do it. Oh, this is way too long. The struggle is real. Stop flinching. I'll make the I'll make the eyeliner face for you. Mm -hmm. Are you done? I guess. Is this your final answer? One method I've heard a lot of other people use is to start by drawing a triangle, but I don't really get how it's supposed to help. Uh, I don't know. I hear it's good, but I don't see how it's any better than the other methods. Maybe they meant a square. I think they probably meant a square. Was this like a Pinterest dimension? I still don't get it. In moments of desperation, you might just need to really concentrate and take it slow. Slow down your breathing if you can. Think about every move that you're making. And above all, just be very careful. And honestly guys, if this just isn't working for you and you're only doing your makeup for social media anyway, you don't really need to know how to do makeup anymore. You can just add it in digitally. Visual effects are really good nowadays and no one will even notice. Okay, but for reals, this is how I do my eyeliner. I take a small angled brush. This one is by Bedellium and it is my absolute favorite to do eyeliner because it's just so little. Then I use gel liner because I find that I have the best balance of control and durability. And I do most of the eyeliner in two strokes, extending out from the lower lash line and curving it back in for the top line. Some tips to make that easier, I do small short strokes for the first line. And then for the top line, what I find helps the most is to let the brush do the work 
Really let it drag onto your eyelid and it'll end up straight and smooth. I also do actually pull back my skin lightly, especially for the inner corner of the eye to make sure that everything gets as smoothly connected as possible. Lastly, I'll use the edge of my nail or some concealer to clean up the bottom of the wing. And as far as getting them even goes, well, that's just impossible. But when they're not even, just keep evening them out until they go all the way up to your eyebrow. Just a disclaimer for anyone who's not sure, everything up until the last minute of this video has been complete sarcasm and silliness. I know that probably seems obvious, but I promise you there will otherwise be someone asking me why the duct tape method didn't work and why they're missing skin. We can't be having that. I always get requests to do this tutorial, but because there's already hundreds on YouTube that I'm sure use the same techniques that I do, I wanted to have a little bit of fun with the idea first. But I do hope that you learned something anyway. On to the bloopers. Girl, I got you. Mm, need to get pumped. Oh, oh, that ceiling fan is really filthy. This is all dried out. Wait, okay, step one, don't use dried out eyeliner. Ow! <laughs> this is dried out too! I couldn't find a ruler. <laughs> I couldn't find a ruler, but I did find, oh Jesus, but I freaking, come on. I know you're impressed. Take a closer look. You'd never think that this would work, but uh, it obviously does. We got a few options there. Oh, Jesus Christ. That mirror just went flying straight from my foot. Oh, uh, you, you opened it too far. What are you doing? What You're allowed to. Quit moving. I. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> Happy ending. Maybe we should try under the eye? I look like Jack Sparrow and a raccoon had a baby. You see it? It's like pink. The fuck? If you use 50 baby wipes in the span of 30 minutes, your eyes get irritated. Who's that? Oh yeah. That has a spot like the spot in my love handles. 